welcome back to Nightcry. This is part four. Now we couldn't find out where the cafeteria was, and I looked it up just to, just to, uh, just, you know, remember where it was. And all I'm gonna say is we need to get the fuck out of this basement because we did not need to come back down here. And I am not happy about being down here. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. Elevator's gotta be back here. And we need to get the fuck out of this basement because I don't like the basement. I don't like any basements. No, nope, no, nope, we ain't going to the laundry room. Fuck that. Gotta use the key card. Alright, we gotta go back because the cafeteria apparently is in the bar area. Next to the stairs with the rope on it. So, we're gonna head right there because I ain't fucking around. I'm not activating anything. Later, dress is all fucking dirty now. Alright, just go. Come on, Monica. I'm gonna call her Monica now. I'm gonna try not to fuck up and call her Jessica. Even though she does, she looks more like a Jessica to me. And the other, and the Jessica that was killed looks like the Monica. Not looking at the blood. Uh, apparently this door, we can go maybe behind the bar. No, we can't go behind the bar. Where the fuck is the cafeteria, dude? Unless, oh, right here. The second floor is only for special occasions, blah, blah, blah. This is a rope barricade, I don't need to go upstairs. Can we use the cafeteria key on it? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Well, apparently, apparently it was supposed to be in here somewhere. So there's no door back here. So that's pointless. There's nothing in here. Oh my god, come on. Keep going, Monica. See, that's why you don't wear fucking heels. I would have been barefoot by now. you think a key card would be a, especially a staff key card, could open any door on the ship. So much for looking it up. Okay, it says, the bar on the second floor, look for a staircase next to the counter with a rope across it. There's a door to the right, open it with your flashlight? I think somebody's full of shit. There's a door to the right of it? To the far right. No, no, Monica, over here. Okay, here's the bar. Bar on second floor, look for it. it's a staircase next to the counter with rope across it. There's a door to the far right. Open it with your flashlight? I don't see a door anywhere. Far right will be over here, which... That don't even make no fucking sense. We need to read a brochure to find out that there's a second way because this is the cafe but I don't see a key or any door that's locked inside the cafe turn that off so we need to read a brochure and the only brochures I see are over here brochures for the, okay they should lay out the ship cafe cafe 2 elevator hall uh, looks like I can get out onto the deck via the cafe on the second floor. See, this game we gotta find everything. Alright, cool. All because we didn't read that brochure. See, make sure you click on everything. Okay, here's a box here. Scissor Man's probably in it. Whoa, hold on. Oh my god! I just scared the shit. Cool, we can hide in a box. Fucking A. So we got, let's see, we got a couple defense items here. A coat hanger. Nothing is out of ordinary here, but maybe I can use it against the scissor man, or I like to call fuckface. Nope. Let's check this whole floor before we go into that room. This table is covered in a thick layer of dust that probably hasn't been used for a while. I would agree. 
If that sketch of the ship's interior is accurate, I should be able to get onto the deck this way, but it's locked. So that's where we get the cafeteria key, right? Yes. Well, why don't you go in through it? Oh, fuck. Monica. Is that an instant death? What the fuck? Oh, with the, open the door with your flashlight. My god. That's what he meant. It'd be nice if you would mention more. So looking at this map here, did you find the wedding ring? Yes, so instead of going this way, going to the right, we are going down the left. So we'll continue. Hopefully we, got, we don't have to backtrack too far. We don't. All right. So turn the flashlight on, and then we're gonna go right in that door. Open with the flashlight, it said. Okay, I have the sketch of the ship's interior is accurate. I should be able to get on the deck this way, but it's locked. Okay, Miss Little. Okay, light on. She looks, she peers in. So can we just go in now? Doors have to shut on their own in these games. I don't get it. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, fuck, no. This is kind of Silent Hill-like. Do I dare try to open a locker? Alright. We'll go down this way. No, I want to look at this whole area. See, if I knew exactly what I was doing, I could probably get through this ASAP. There's a light switch over there, but fuck it. We got a loading screen. Oh, there's the there's the guy. So the guy that was in the freezer isn't the guy who took our coat. Looks like we're the only one, the only oh. two left. Monica. Oh. Whoa! You made me jump. I thought I was the only survivor on this floor. <laughs> this is no time to be laughing. We have to get out of here before it comes back. Yes, yes. I just got here in search of a way to another floor. Do you have any ideas? I do. There's an emergency rope ladder we could use to move down the side of the ship. Seriously? If we fall, we'll be seafood. Would you like to stay here? I'm going down. Wait, I'm coming too. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. She wants to, oh, if you fall, we're dead. But if you stay, we're dead too. Dip of today is Copenhagen Mint. 9.44 p.m. Well, yes, that's right, Maria. It might be dangerous to walk out out there, but... Yes, yes, calm down. Rooney isn't our only concern right now. We have to stop that thing somehow. Yes, I know, Ma Maria. I don't intend to get myself killed, you know. I'm trusting you to take care of the students. So there's students on the ship? Alright, now we're playing as Rooney. And let's check his phone, because maybe he can see our post. Ooh, damn, I can go for some sushi right now. Some real sushi, or, you know, as real as I can get, none of that buffet shit. Zachary Hartman. Con, look at that, creepy. What's post? You don't have anything to post right now? Come here. Alright. A crane to hang the rescue boats, but there isn't a boat hanging there. What around the Titanic? That's what it seems like. Everybody's doomed. The moonlight is peeping through the clouds, bouncing off the crane with no lifeboat. The rescue boat crane appears functional, but without the boat. 
The rescue boat crane appears functional, but without the boat. Oh. All right, let's talk to the employees here. Ah, oh, Professor Leonard, the situation does not look good. Oh, hello, Eric. Do you lads have any idea what's going on here? I'm afraid we probably know little more than the passengers. All we know is that there has been a mass killing taking place on board the ship. Passengers between various areas have been cut off. On top of that, we are unable to reach the captain and crew. They have sent an SOS, right? I can only hope. How are your, st how are your students holding up? They've barricaded themselves in the, in the car cold hold in the shopping area. I'm worried because some of them haven't joined the group yet. It is the safest place I can think of. A cargo hold in the shopping area, you say? Very good. I'm going to hightail my ass over there right now. Okay. So we got we heard everything he has to say. Now let's talk to uh, this guy. I know you. Professor Leonard, I'm Kobe. Kobe? The Pursuer. Oh, that's right. You're the lad who came in to check on my shower. Hopefully not while I was in the shower. You really helped me out. I was screaming like a little girl when ice cold water started spewing out of it. Um, Professor? Right, yes. Sorry. I wish I could grasp what on earth has happened. You would think we've been attacked by pirates or terrorists. Yeah, we came here to assess the situation and help people evacuate, but... Did you see? The lifeboats are missing. You mean all of them? I'm pretty sure. Huh. So, the Scissor Walker, aka Scissor Man in our case, might have released all the. might have. yeah, released all the uh, rescue boats so that nobody could escape. Should we assume that somebody dumped the life rafts intentionally to prevent our escape? Exactly what I just said. That might be a reason. Okay, screen cut. That might be a reason, Professor. Take a look over there. It's a fire off in the distance. Huh. I see it. Some kind of light. A lighthouse? Or something lit up like a bonfire. Exactly. There are many deserted islands around here. You can see the lights shining from one of them. And just wait till we get to those islands. It's probably a group that headed toward the island on the, the life rafts. What could the source of light be? Well, it's a fire. Odds are passengers or crew members or both use the life rafts to get to the island. Hopefully. Right, that's what I think too. I don't know what their intentions are though. If they only wanted to escape from the ship, why touch the other life rafts? Huh. We need to catch up with them. I don't know about you, but I don't plan to swim there. I would. I'll let you on a little secret. I'm a natural born sinker. Well, I think you'd float pretty well. Oh, I see. That's a shame. There's another way to get to that island? It won't be easy, even if you try to swim, try to swim there. These waters are occupied by sharks, so... Right. I hope we can think of something. Okay. Now we are free to move along. Let's see what's up in this case. Hey, look at that. It's a life raft. Or an inflatable one. Could this be a life raft? probably gonna say the same thing so this raft must be the inflatable kind that's what I just said okay inflatable kind gotcha we need to get uh, fuck no oh, cell phone numbers are you too aware of the yellow box over there there's a life raft in that box yellow box oh that's right we prepared an inflatable raft in case of an emergency. Right. I recall seeing that one in the itinerary. 
I've never thought it would become actually come to actually using it. Good. Then the both of you can get to blowing it up. I'll be cheering you on, you lazy fuck. Don't care to join us? Sorry, I'm not too confident about my lung capacity. Plus, my doctor, my doctor specifically told me not to inflate any life rafts. Yeah, right. Uh, well, we should hurry then. All right, let's wrap the ship away from the scissor walker. I'm not sure what's going on. But whoever is on that island probably knows more. So you think they're terrorists? Maybe. If they were, they probably would have made some kind of statement by now. Anyway, we should keep going. Okay. I'm going to take a look. You lot stay here. You lot stay here, huh? Won't it be dangerous? Someone needs to guard the boat, or we could end up stranded here. Don't worry about me. I'll be careful. As you please. Let's give him one more talk. Looks deserted. I suppose he must have headed to the center of the island. Um, Professor, are you really going in there alone? Yes, I need you both here in case anything goes wrong. One of you will report to me, the other the other will return to the ship. Maybe I should go in your steed. I am younger, all, after all. I'm not going to pick a fight with them. I'll be fine. Well, if you say so. Professor, please be careful. Don't do anything reckless. Alright, so, uh... There's a bunch of fucking left for ass. The boats are empty. Finding clues here seems unlikely. A number of life rafts lie on the beach. Whoever got here first must have used these rafts. Life rafts from the Oceanus. So they're all blow-up rafts. There were more boats missing from the Oceanus. I suppose they arrived at another part of the island. And this way is blocked off, so we're going to find another path. Okay, I'm not seeing any other paths. Maybe... No, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Okay, that's in the map. Oh. Alright, footprints. Footprints. They appear fresh. Alright, maybe we can go through now. I skipped that for some reason. Alright, let's read it again. All the footprints head toward the thicket and disappear. Dead end. There must be a way around. Clueless footprints leave from the boats to the center of the island. Oh dear, I hope it's simply a band of jolly people who suddenly got the urge to start a campfire. Hmm, the thicket here seems to have grown unnaturally thick. The path is clear. I do not want to go in there. Let's right, take it slow. Okay, we cannot be seen by these people. I don't know how he didn't see me, but I'm glad he didn't. Because these people are not friendly. A 
rusty gas canister. It is just a, about possible to make your own 1970 printed on this make out 1970 printed on this label. If memory serves me right, the filling reporter for a gas canister is about 20 years. What a relic! Okay, gotta make sure we check everything twice, sometimes more. Some gloves, and gloves with the non-slip coating. These could come in handy in the forest. Get it? Handy? <laughs> you find an item. Non-slip gloves. Aha! So the gas canister is still usable, which means somebody is filling it up regularly. what we can do with it the stove is definitely usable but who says but who's to say when it's not this old the thing is going to explode these are human bones seems like they've been here for a while the owner of this hut must be quite a dirty fellow if they happy to live among this filth let me skip that Water of a light brown color is running from the faucet. Yuck. I really don't want to drink that. At least it's here if I really need it. A notebook with faded stains. There's brown smudges across the surface as if somebody spilled coffee on it. There's a radio. We will muster that in a second. There's a save point. A baseball has been stuffed into the bottom of the box. Well, this is the first thing I found that shows any sign of, sign of humanity. Back in the day, I worked so hard on my breaking ball, aspiring to be like my hero, Lefty. I'm not sure if it will be of use, but I might as well take it with me. You found an item, baseball. Yeah, we will need it later. Wooden sticks are also stuffed into the box. Considering when they replace along the side a baseball, the wooden sticks may have been used as bats. Canned food described in the top side of this box. Scribbled. Okay, we got some radio stuff. I'm going to... Let's check out the radio. A radio. And it still works. I may be able to call for help with this. Today I gathered fruit from the trees on the island. I split them open and had a taste. They were delicious. I found a huge cluster of tiny crabs in the in the, in the the crags of the shallow along blah blah. I heard a wild bird that invaded my hut and I fried it. It was delicious. Huh. Whoever they were, they seem to have only have one opinion on everything they eat. Mostly English books, but there seems to be books written in other languages as well. English, Italian, German, and this must be Arabic. Although I can't imagine a group of <coughs> transnationals living up here. I've heard the crew of the cruise liner speak four languages on average. Could a crew member be using this room? Okay. Oh, are they reading us? What the hell was that? Yeah, fuck that. Just do each one. Oh, nothing on this frequency. Let's go to channel three. Oh shit. Now I fucking did it. Oh no, stop! Channel three is bad. I guess we just keel over. Must have been some frequency that made her brain scramble. 
Okay, we got the gloves, but we're gonna go and fuck around with that radio. Okay, looks like everything's still in order. Okay, blah blah blah, it still works. Call for help. Alright, let's do channel 4. Huh? Are they reading us? What the hell was that? Oh no. Maybe I messed up too many times. Let's go to five. Huh, nothing on this frequency. Alright, that was another death. So now we're gonna go to, uh... Seven. Oh, are they reading us? Okay. 20. 17. Let's try 17. Hmm, nothing on this frequency. 16. Yes, 16. This is the Coast Guard ship. We've picked up a, a distress call. Huh, are they reading us? Cough. <clears throat> mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the passenger of liner Oceanus. Current status, mass murder on board. Vessel immobile, requesting emergency assistance over. Roger that. Relay vessel coordinates over. Coordinates? Coordinates are uh, exact precision unknown, estimated to be in the vicinity of an uh, island. Roger that. We'll commence search and rescue operations shortly over. Phew, hopefully things will be alright now. Well, I guess I have no choice but to believe they will be. Alright. I am going to use... Well, we're going to grab that baseball first. The baseball is my stuff into the bottom of the box. Okay, we got the baseball. Nope. Use the phone. We're going to use the phone charger here and save. Boop. Save complete. I'm going to end the video here. Um, hopefully next video we'll do some more progress. Uh, if you like this video, give it, give it a thumbs up. If you, and, if you didn't, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, you know, this game is pretty cool, and I can't wait to get into the nitty-gritty because we got some intense parts coming up. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.